No sign of him. Not that I've ever met him before, but the way Alphano goes on about him, I'm fairly sure I could pick him out in a crowd. Speaking of which, it does seem awfully quiet. If the erstwhile Azure Dragoon had returned to Ishgard, would it not be a source of general excitement? First the Scion's coin keeper, and now you. I'm beginning to think these meetings are more than mere coincidence. Not that I'm complaining. It's been too long. Too long? You look an ilm taller and twice as rugged. It suits you, Alphano. Quieter, though. Have you been giving him lessons on how to be the strong, silent type? I... am not... Alphano! If the two of you are such firm friends, perhaps you should remember what he looks like. And what do you mean, rugged? Ugh! Had my brother mentioned what an oaf you are, I'd never have bothered looking for you in the first place. Estinian Wormblood. The Azure Dragoon. He who fought and felled the Dread Worm Nidhogg at the Warrior of Light's side. To think the day would come when I should see this living legend with my own eyes. Someone mind explaining what is going on? Is everything all right? I thought I heard Alizé shouting. Estinian! It's been too long. No, no, it's quite understandable. That was hardly the first time we've been confused for one another. Nor, I suspect, will it be the last. Well, I for one will not be making that mistake again. What I will say, for the second time today, is that you've grown. Inside and out. I can tell. One can't remain a spoiled little lordling forever, you know. At least someone's having a good time. You know when we were growing up, Alphano would never befriend other boys because he couldn't stand the thought of not being in charge. But maybe that's changed. He seems just as happy around Astinian as he does Arenvald. Joking, aren't you? I'd be glad if someone would take him off my hands. No rest for the righteous, eh? Speaking of which, I was just on my way to borrow an airship to take me to Azisla. Azisla? How could I forget? The dragon with whom Bahamut shared the deepest of bonds. Aye, Tiamat, his mate. Even now she remains imprisoned on Azisla, though her remorse binds her faster than any shackle. I see. As the one who first summoned Bahamut, you believe she may be able to shine some light on his latest incarnation. Might I suggest that we make the journey to Azisla together? I'm not sure if Tatari mentioned this, but we Scions have an airship of our own now. I see no reason why not. 
Assuming your sister can bear the thought of sharing a deck with me. Be my guest. But confuse me with Alphano again and I'll throw you overboard. Ugh! I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's nothing like Alphano painted him to be. I will admit, he is not exactly as I imagined him either. Based on what I had read of the man, I think I was expecting someone a little less... blunt? <laughs> 